Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard and yet another Epic Universe construction update. Thank you again to Bio Reconstruct for these great photos. Now, I really get into that home stretch of Epic Universe. It's going to open in just under two years from now. And a lot of the theming details are popping up now on how to train your dragon area and plenty of areas. And even some details in the entrance arch in the entrance area, which we'll get to right now as well. So, yeah, looks pretty exciting. And let's get right to it because uh, there's a lot to go over today. All right, now we're going to first take a look at the entrance area. Here's the entrance arches starting to form again. Um, and those big columns to the right and the left of this photo. The dirt patch will be where you walk under the massive arch. To the right and left are ticketing buildings. And yeah, ticketing gift shops and all the front uh, guest relations, all that front of the park infrastructure that will be here waiting you as you enter into the theme park. Moving on over to the hub and looking taking a look at this restaurant here the um restaurant's making some good progress this is right by the entrance it's kind of when you first come on in and there'll be some water features surrounding you and yeah looks pretty good can't wait to see the landscaping take place again along the restaurant and along the walkways of the hub as well looking at starfall racers from this lateral area again looks like a whole bunch of steel and a whole bunch of stuff happening um this is also because you can see the hub and some some of the how to train your dragon areas as well or i love work areas as well um but yeah this is going to be just a massive massive coaster and there's even some celestial elements starting to form by the station as well and we can get into that in this next photo right here taking a closer look at the starfall racer station you can see some sort of planet or maybe universe is a uh, structure starting to form right by that those a uh, couple of final or couple of turns right there and this is facing the hub area so this is what you'll see this will be the grand entrance statement into the area but yeah i'm curious what that will be i'm guessing some sort of massive large planet or universe or definitely space type structure and finally with the starfall racers project you can see the landscaping is starting to go in i mean more of a landscaping before it's just trees now there's more trees and actual grass in the area so look starting to look like a nice park type setting which will be pretty nice as you zoom through on the roller coaster not very spacey but you know hey there's trees and planets and other uh, other uh planets so it can work out jumping over to the dark universe we can focus here on the windmill restaurant and there's still more of the theming going in the windmill structure is definitely way up and has some scaffolding on it it's going to be buried under a hillside so they're working on that right now but the inside of the building is probably progressing quite nicely as well. And I can't wait to see what this looks like when it's going to be finished. Going over to the Curse of the Werewolf, you can see the all the uh, you know, roofs and stuff. Those are all themed. The barn, the station is all themed. They're really, really we're working on that interior queue or the exterior queue, which is going to be in the middle of the coaster there. The whole bunch of orange construction fencing and steel popping up for what will be themed elements along the queue here to see the theme on this because again the rest of the dark universe looks absolutely beautiful so i'm excited to see what this looks like in person and over photos an overhead shot at the dark universe you can see that the main attraction the e-ticket still under some nice scaffolding and the entrance arch is fully framed and ready to receive some theming and even the, some pavement work has popped up on the courtyard area but will they be this manor but also some thematic or some which might some landscaping some trees some small shrubs and trees have been planted for the curse of the real werewolf coaster as well so it's nice to see landscaping going in as well there and of course they're still working on that interior queue structure so or exterior queue so excited to see what that looks like going outside of the poppy for just a second to the hotel as you can see they awesome theming of this the terra luna and stella nova hotels has started to go on these very colorful tetris like walls or paneling is going up on the walls here i'm curious to see how this will look i have this very bold decision and i feel like it'll look really good or really ugly um so far i'm not too sure what it's gonna look like it's supposed to um kind of shimmer in color as you move across so if you look at one side it'll look different than the other side so Again, really cool concept, but I'm not sure if uh, how good it's going to look um, because I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below how this looks um, because even with the closer image, it's uh, I don't I get looks cool, but that over an entire, what, 11, 12 story building um, double, let's say right across the street from each other. I'm not sure if it's going to look like be like too much, be too overwhelming or 
look really cool. So I we'll have to see. But again, I'm I'm proud of the bold decision that Universal's making because they had some sort of theming, unlike Disney, as so far as de-theming the interiors of the, their hotels and exteriors of new hotels. Looks like Universal is definitely taking a nice swing with this hotel. It could be really good or really bad. We'll see. Going over though to the more traditional Helios Hotel, which will look just like a luxury hotel themed, I'm sure, inside to space and maybe some outdoor exterior theming to space. Um, still going a little slow on construction, but it is rising. It is slowly but surely rising about three to four stories off the ground now. And when we get to the room levels, again, that should go a little faster, I think, because it's just the same repetitive motion. But then this hotel should open in 2025. The other hotels, though, are rumored to open in 2024, especially because they're off-site, and they can, until Epic Universe, Epic Universe opens, shuttle the, or serve the convention center, because the Orange County Convention Center is right there, as well as the existing Universal Parks. Jumping, or flying, over to the Wizarding World, you can see lots of uh, green paneling and scaffolding still going on the extensive, extensive detailing of these very tall five-story buildings here, making it super immersive for the guests and again look at all that green paneling for ready for theming on the back sides of the project these are the sides that i'm sure you'll be seeing um, from the park so they'll probably put some city theming there on those facades and you can even look zooming in closer here some more of the roof paneling going on in here in this alleyway which seems to be a dead end but i think this is one of the rumored uh, sit down restaurants will be going here so there won't be quite the dead end, you just can't, can't connect to the rest of the land, but you'll be able to go in and eat in this spot. Moving down south of How to Train Your Dragon, there's not too much um, that I saw in this update that was different, at least on the visual eye, but the Gerslauer Sky Flyers were installed, as you can see right here, and that's why I grabbed, got this, uh, used this screen or photo, because they're installed and they're themed. They're installed and already themed which i'm really that nice little paneling right there nice little themed colors right there reminds me of what cedar fair just did to um soul spin with not spray farm they really themed the heck out of that to match new fiesta's village area and there's even a nice dragon there and he's like the one f um making you fly which is cool i believe this is going to be called the wing gliders attraction there'll be two of them to increase capacity which would be quite nice i think both of them have been installed and our final stop of the day will be at Super Nintendo World, where lots of progress has been happening. And you can uh, see it. You can see it and can't see it. There's a lot of stuff happening inside the buildings. And, and, you know, as you know, Super Nintendo World has a lots and lots of passageways. So there's a lot of things happening there. But let's actually first take a look at the Donkey Kong attraction. Because there's some cool stuff happening over there. Donkey Kong over here, again, has more green paneling, which is the next step before they get some theming on the temple walls there. And if you look a little closer, um, more railing or more, you know, railroad ties, fake railroad ties have been installed as well, as well as some more theming on that section as well. You can see there, they're getting ready to install one of the obstacles that you have to avoid as you jump the gap, which I'm excited to see those go in. And again, this coaster should be testing um, within uh, several months to a year. So I'm excited to see what happens you know how that actually works out that seems super super fun and cool and here's yet another shot of the coaster um of that ready for the theming on the lift hill lots of green paneling i'm curious to see what type of theming there will be temple theming or jungle theming we'll see what, ta what type of theming will be coming next jumping over to the mushroom kingdom see a lot of the yellow paneling for theming on the uh, princess peach's castle and the rest of the Mushroom Kingdom, and even uh, Yoshi. Yoshi is getting its yellows gone. It has that track is fully themed now, which is, looks exciting. And let's take a look, a close look into Yoshi actually, and see. So, yeah, the whole layout is now gray. Like has gray bricks like castle, you know, like your own ca castle theme, which is what it's what it's like. And the one show scene has lots of scaffolding getting ready for its theming as well, which. Looks fantastic, and this will be the same version as Japan, just a little bit bigger, actually. And that is going to do it for this Super Nintendo World, or sorry, well, Super Nintendo World, but Epic Universe update um, in general. How do you like the quick progress so far? Can you believe we're only just under two years away until this thing opens? That's insane. Time is flying, and Universal is flying on this project, so I'm excited to see 
um, them go full steam ahead. Every earnings call they talk about how they're going full steam ahead. And I'm very excited for that. What do you think about Epic Universe? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. If you liked, like, like this video, press that thumbs up button. Share it to all your friends so they know what's going on in Orlando and what's coming to Orlando so you can start booking vacations. As always, have a very epic day.